Magi Bloodlust, but that Invoker is going to be a real thorn in their side. KYXY, fantastic Invoker player. Like you said, expecting a little test right now as far as getting my camera across. That's, this that's okay. You'll st I, I have faith that you'll step it up at the, the crucial moments. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> we need a Am I jinxing you by saying that? They're Probably. wrapping around on Hana here, top lane. <laughs> that is level three. They're going to stampede. Look to go on your Tide Hunter. Doesn't have Ravage yet. There's the pick off Ohio. Huge kill for him. At the same time, Kenshi being pursued out the bottom side of the map, and that looks to be a dead Wraith game. Yeah, no more mana to work with on the back end of that stun. Wasn't even six regardless. Wave of Terror, and a few more right clicks, he goes down. I did, however, catch both of those LD. Don't worry about Boom. that. If Got you em. don't like the camera work, you can find me over my Twitter at whatishiptv and just file your complaints there. <laughs> but uh, it looks He's right there with Mushi, and... Still doing quite well in the mid lane. Yeah, I'm curious to see how far this fan can really take it. Now jumping in, Mushi though, he blinks right into a fire blast and the secondary magic missile. Has he gone in too far? He has. He gets taken you are down. Bottom lane, Palasan caught out. They miss on the sun strike, but still stampede at the ready. They should be able to get the counter kill here. He manages to buy first, double edge securing it. As Ohio up to 1600. See them drop down a ward if they're going to set this ambush, but right now they're playing in the blind. Ohio still patiently waiting. This could be his opening now. Ooh, moving forward, but it's not going to be there. Hello. There's just a lot of patient what? play. What is going on here? Come on, Ohio, do something. There they go. Okay, now they get it on through. Sunstrike there, but not even necessary as Ohio immediately runs right on through and takes down Vengeful Spirit now. Kenji trying to get away from this one. Still level 5 will go down. There's your Ravage as he makes the rotation to the top of Mushi. Right in the middle of it all. Takes the full ultimate. You can't afford to be dying. I mean, maybe he's maybe he will just go treads, but he's also picked up a bottle. We're gonna have a go though. Ooh, they fire back immediately, blink forward, whips first on the hoof stomp, doesn't pull it out yet. Sun strike, but there they do get a hold of Vengeful Spirit, goes down once more, but looking to fire back. First departure now. Gush is gonna slow down Wraith King. This is looking like a bit of deja vu as they will take down Wraith King again. Still not his level six. And they might want to do something about it. Blink forward, no Ravage pulled out yet, and uh, instead goes for the Gush. But the follow-up Stormhammer, it just takes two big slashes coming out from Miracle to finish off that Invoker. Now Stampy going to be pulled out defensively to allow Ohio to make his escape. Invoker going Exhort build. KOXFly now has a Yules. Good solo pickoff potential. Hold that thought. They want to go mid on Kenshi. He yeah, still has his ult, though. Not sure about this. Moves forward. There's the storm. They uh, get him down the first time here. Our Malaysia going to look to counter. Uh, KYXY thinking about it here. Sunstrike jumped in. Ohio locks him in his place. But the Ravage on the return. Ohio is actually going to be going down on his Centaur. And his first departure get the first kill here. But now it looks like they want to call out the retreat and walk away with what they got. Though that Yules has other ideas. They lock Miracle in his place. But the swap pulls him up to the high ground after he gets his storm hammer off onto KYXY. Now very low. It's Lovey looking to right click him down. Won't overcommit. Oh, the mana void. Not going to be enough to finish off your Tidehunter move. They're at the ready. A, a good setup of a Stormhammer from your Sven. He's going to get right in there and just follow up with big cleave damage. And Team Malaysia, they have to hope that they can withstand that possible counterback punch. And now they move as a unit here. They might find Miracle. That would be a big pick. Nope. Up right then. They get Tidehunter instead. The Mystic Flare helps that bird. bit of burst. They even use the Stampede for this one. On the low ground, they're making it go for Lubby. Well, it looks like Miracle. Pressing on four, we're looking to go on KYXY here. There's your Stormhammer, right clicks once, right clicks twice. But not gonna be enough, he makes his way on out. now from Ohio, he got, got the stomp on two, so clutch. So there's your stone gaze though, Pelosan. Oh, the last right click catches on KYXY. It's a long range one, and he obviously sees that, but can't quite move on four. Oh, quick blink, avoids the Stormhammer there. Now first departure, trying to get a hold of something, grasping at straws as far as kills on the side of Malaysia, and. Space created though. Mushi top lane able to push it in. He has this claymore up now. 1800 gold in the bank. They're gonna fight mid. Miracle gets swapped out. Very low. Man up going down here. Lovey gonna drop. Ohio has that blink fairly soon. Concussive shot keeps Hana out, preventing his blink ravage. And I mean that's that's I, I would say four protect one. Oh, Mushi into the pit looking for this miracle pickoff. He's gonna get mana voided out of mana, out of options. What a huge kill for Mushi. Fantastic war in these ancients. Yeah, they feel confident also with doing these bit of side pushes here with Wraith King leveled up and having his ult at the ready now. They can leave him in the front like this, and you can have plenty of space for your invoker to maybe contribute from the outside, but there's going to be your sun strike. They're committing a lot, deafening blast, and Wraith King's like, I'll just go right in closer for it for my reincarnation, and now... First of I think he summoned Fort Spirits by mistake there. Okay, they swap him back. This could be a free kill here on your Wraith King. I mean, they do have to sweat it out going through both of those lives, but yeah, you're... Invoker not really having he, a lot of He invoked definitely Black Yard, 
but still does not match the anti-mage split push as of yet. Only the Sven can really kill buildings as quickly. I'm so curious to see, though, first departure. If they're putting the point where they have to go for a high ground. Ana. They jump in on bottom lane. Ana in trouble, forced to pull out the Ravage. Catches on a lot, but he has to walk out for Mr. Clary. He's very low, will go down. The rotations are slowly coming in, but is it too late? Wave of Terror flies out, scouts out net, hiding in the woods. He's going to get chopped down from Miracle. And now it's the first life of your Wraith King. All the precious cores do make their escape, but the supports, the backup, the foundation, they will go down. I mostly just want to split push. He, who are the easy solo kills here? Venge, who has 10 armor and a medallion. Not that easy. Oh, and the river will see Palasum pick up the Scarlet Mage. Now looking for Kenshi. He matched the turn of the stone. A quick double kill for your Medusa. And Mushi unable to find those kills in the meantime. Now it's regening, but... She's happy she got that Lincoln Sphere, though. That's for sure. And now she has a butterfly. It's a... Butterfly on your Medusa. M and... Mushi gets a first hit bash. Hey, if you're going to get first hit bashes like this, maybe he should be going for these aggressive plays. He'll blink in again. Reads one more bash. Oh, he gets it, too. God, the bash lord. Cue the, cue the... Where's your soundboard, man? We need some NBA jam music here. This game is very serious. Is you know, I'm, I'm trying to bring a little bit of... Uh... We'll smoke here from Malaysia. They've got eyes on Miracle. He does have a BKB though. They need instant oh, stuff. Yep, they got it. Jump forward, hook stomp, sun strike, mystic flare, more than enough. A jump in though from your tide hunter. Not in time and just stalling tactics first departure, gotta get the hell out. Seems get back. It's just Miracle and Mushi now going at it, but Miracle enough alone to push it back. So we might see something break out bottom lane. We will. Moving on to Kenji, there's gonna be the stun. He pops his blade mail, throws a stun of his own. Stone is gonna be popping. Medusa can't quite find the target. There's the spread we were talking about. They make their target Wraith King, but they'll have to take him down twice, which is taking a, a bit of extra time than they'd like because top lane, they're still tussling. Mushi is just moving in and out, keeping Miracle out from the engagement on the bottom and forcing him to be the defensive stand. Now Pelosan does clean up. Oh, this is a big grab, that man avoid. Now no man to work with, forced to pull out the stone gaze. Ravage, however, comes out. Mushi goes down. They have enough burst potential to take out him and take out Ohio. Big. So maybe with the sun strike, they have a mana void. They're trying to find this opening. Miracle forced to BKB, turn tail and run. Around the trees he goes. Mushi waiting, gets the bash. This should be the kill. That's well, he a big keeps one. ring around the road, mm -hmm. and uh, what a bash for it, dude! <laughs> and gets it again. He just keeps circling around that tree. Must have been three or four times. Space created as top lane, though they take in the high ground, and it's Pelosin leading out the charge on your Medusa. Kenji walks forward, gets stunned not once but twice. Now brought down very low. Does have his ultimate back up? Oh, big damage though. Mystic Flare Meatball, and your Medusa quickly goes back towards the backhand side. Very low with mana and health. Can they bring her down though? Oh, very nice follow-up from Ohio, but she still has a second life to work with here. They surround her corpse. She comes right back up. Nemo on the side. They Mushi have Ravage, but Mushi won't out. let Hama do it. He's taking his mana all the way down, so he can't even get it in there. Big Stone Gaze, however, Medusa right-clicking out. Big damage. Mushi has to oh. step in, slams the R button, and cleans out that Medusa. Four out. It's Team Malaysia now. Y and Kenji pushing down this mid lane top. You see uh, as Pelosan makes the retreat to kind of go into the fence there. It's Ohio up with net on that Skyrim mate. But mid lane seems to be the lane of choice. Sven currently no, does have buyback ready. They got to be careful about this. Believe the, for now, the Wraith came in front. He gets swapped Ooh. back into the tower. That's going to proc his ultimate. They still might just need to let him go. They're sending one top. The Centaur trying to do a bit of split pushing. Do not try to fight because that Sven could have buyback. In fact, he does. Kenshi will go down. That's okay. Melee Rex brought to half health, but smart to think of items at all. Yeah, it's kind of a concern. Ooh. Miracle runs back to base, but he has boots of travel, so he just comes right back in. 4k Bush. gold on hand, and there's still a glyph. I don't know if he'll have to use this. Stop my back. Oh. They're gonna try to hold it. Considering a going raid king, he does get forced back out, but he does end up going down. He'll also be used here. 15 seconds still on Mushi. Big Ravage as they press on core with the shivers on top of it. KYXY bursted down immediately. Your BKB Miracle pressing on forward, and now they kill out the supports, forcing two buybacks. Mushi is going to wait out his death timer. They lose one Rax here on the bottom, but Ohio locks out Aluka. They take down the Ogre support. Not pushing anymore. He's already TPing top where Mushi is gonna go. Mushi blinks oh, in. Oh no, but he got off the abyssal. The swaps there defensively. Tornado coming through. Now Ohio looking for the stump. Gets basically nothing. Mushi gets shredded. Fortunately, has the Aegis will be coming back, but the rest of the team annihilated. Invoker trapped out. He's gonna head to the south, try and take down this lane of Rax instead. That ain't gonna happen. Everybody pursuing him out. Four heroes dead. Can your Aegis and he gets oh. four X multicast. I don't know if he dies here, but.
confident as ever. Their late game really, really Radiant shining here. As Medusa confidently presses forward, clearing out those creeps. You can see the damage from her in the low ground. Miracle jumps forward once Net, who gets forced Radiant away once more. Mushi intercepts. Abyssal locks him in place, but the BKB is going to soak up the damage, and Mushi goes down, forces out the buyback. They jump on back forward. They take down the Wraith King, and they just finish what they started on this Rax. They want to make it to the Summit House here, and with a victory, they can do it. Your Stone Gaze pops off. Kenshi falls once more, two down, and now also down. First departure, they're going for the jugular. Looks like LD. Megas are on the rise here. Mushi, what can you do to stop this? Nothing. Meat Blake then he's just going to get stunned, probably die. He does have a Monovoid if he can somehow find that magic Monovoid. Perhaps there's hope, but you're still looking at mass buybacks ready to go for first departure. Even if they fall, Mushi gets a double. He's low. But Invoker coming through with the Deathly Blast, looking for Lubby. There's your Bash, should be enough for the kill. The Ven swapping from long range, they just want the Megas. Lubby gonna go down, Palosan gonna go down, four heroes dead. But all four have buyback, and they've caved in mid. That's pretty good. Still, you're down two lanes of Rax, though. Yeah, and you still are pressured to get something done. Otherwise, first departure, just go for another team fight and go for the win. And, oh no, Mushi jumps right in, he gets stunned about once more. There's another follow-up Magic Missile, can they take him down? Big damage, multi times two. He walks, he does blink out, he scaves away barely with 50 life, but let's see Malaysia as they press on in. Wraith King does pick up a nice kill, they take down. There's gonna be a dieback on Hana right before he gets the Ravage to him, be a disaster EMP. He barely gets off the Ravage, but perhaps it's not enough. Maybe it's not over for one on Ogre, as well as Skywrath and the Medusa. So that's the big ones for the Dire, really just the Medusa Radiant buyback. Can they win a fight time. now? This would be huge. At least claim a full lane of Rex. Still doesn't look oh. great for Malaysia, but this is the best it's gonna ever get. On behind. Oh, she doesn't make it to the high ground. Medusa stuck in the corner, forced to pull out the BKB, but they immediately fire back with that heavy right-click split slot, and they, well, oh, she? they take oh, it oh, she? Oh, oh, You can't no. die back now? Oh, no! That's Multi to the face. He's out Dead for two minutes. That's it. Courier's gonna go down as well. It was carrying that precious payload I mentioned. and uh, Actually, just a gem in the base. Creeps are marching in. Desperation Gambit, but who needs Tidehunter, man? They, they didn't even need Han in the end there. Wow, GG, well wow, played. Wow. First departure. Stay alive. They've got a date with Invasion. And what a shot a at the land finals. First departure, a team that wasn't even initially on the docket to compete. In Only got in because two. of the match fixing scandal. Here they are. And they even started with a couple of losses when they first got in, and then they just went on a nice hot streak, found their way into the playoffs, moved on through, made their way to the lower bracket final, and now have just made one of the biggest upsets two times now they have bested.